Hello art students, today we're diving into a topic that goes beyond just picking letters on a screen. It's all about the personality of typography. Just like people, fonts have personalities and the style of a font can communicate just as much meaning as the words themselves. So let's explore how different fonts express distinct emotions and messages and how you can use them to your advantage. And I've got a free downloadable checklist to help you choose the best fonts for your next project in the description box below. Research shows that we subconsciously attribute personality traits to fonts. A study conducted by Sheik and Chaparro at Wichita State University found that fonts can embody characteristics like youthful, formal, or even rebellious. When choosing a font, we're not just deciding how the text looks, we're deciding how it feels. To illustrate this, look at these examples. Which one seems more serious? Which one feels playful? It's not just about the words, but also the style in which they're presented. Let's take a look at different font categories and how they communicate meaning. Serif fonts are like the Meryl Streep of typography, classic, respected, and timeless. These fonts, identified by their small extensions at the end of letters, communicate a sense of tradition and trustworthiness. According to the study by Sheik and Chaparro, serif fonts are perceived as stable, practical, and mature. That's why brands like Vogue and The Times use them to convey authority and a sense of heritage. So if you want your designs to exude elegance and sophistication, serif fonts are the way to go. Next up, we've got slab serif fonts, the Dwayne The Rock Johnson of typography. They're bold, rugged, and confident. Slab serifs are a modern twist on the traditional serif fonts, giving off a sense of being established yet innovative. Brands like Sony and Volvo use these fonts to communicate strength and reliability. Their blocky appearance suggests boldness, making them a great choice for brands wanting to project confidence. Sans serif fonts are the Zendaya of typography. Modern, minimalist, and effortlessly stylish. Sans serif means without serifs, and these fonts lack the extra ornamental elements, giving them a clean and simple look. Research shows that sans serifs are perceived as honest, practical and clear. That's why digital brands like Netflix, YouTube and Facebook use them to convey a sleek, user-friendly experience. Sans serif fonts work best when you want to keep things straightforward, minimal and modern. Handwritten fonts bring a casual, artistic and edgy vibe to your design, similar to the free-spirited persona of someone like Youngblood. These fonts convey a sense of fun and approachability and youthfulness, making them perfect for brands that want to feel more personal. Evolution Fresh is a great example. Their use of handwritten fonts makes the brand seem friendly and down to earth and homemade. However, use these fonts sparingly as they can be harder to read in longer texts. These fonts are best for creating an informal and creative atmosphere. Now let's address the handwritten elephant in the room, Comic Sans. Unless you're a six year old selling lemonade outside of your house, it's probably best to leave Comic Sans out of your design toolbox. Yeah, sure, it's playful and friendly, but unless you're trying to look stupid on purpose, don't use it. Script fonts are the Audrey Hepburn of typography. Elegant, unique, and with a touch of luxury. In Sheik and Chaparro's study, script fonts were associated with traits like creative, feminine, and distinct. Think of wedding invitations or the elegant branding of lint chocolate. These fonts mimic cursive handwriting and add a personal artistic touch. However, while they look fancy, they can sometimes be difficult to read, so they're often only used in logos and headlines to convey a sense of sophistication. Decorative fonts are the chapel roan of typography. Bold, unconventional, and impossible to ignore. These fonts don't fit neatly into any category. Instead, they're custom designed to give a brand a unique identity. But be cautious. Decorative fonts are best used in logos, where visuals take precedence over readability. Think of Disney's whimsical font. It's instantly recognizable, but used sparingly, as its purpose is to create a distinctive brand image. So how do you choose the right font for your message? According to the studies, every font has a unique personality that influences how your message is perceived. Serif fonts might be perfect for a luxury brand aiming to exude elegance, while sans serif fonts could suit a tech company striving for a modern and clean look. Handwritten and script fonts bring a personal touch, ideal for creative or boutique businesses. Remember, the font you choose is like casting an actor for a role. 
it needs to embody the mood and the tone of your message. I've created a free checklist you can use to choose the most suitable font for your next project in the description box. Tell me how you get on with it in the comments section below. In essence, typography is a silent yet powerful voice. Choosing the right font is more than just an aesthetic decision. It's about aligning the look and feel of your text with your brand's personality or message. Think of fonts as characters. They each bring their unique flair to the story that you're telling. If you found this dive into typography useful, then subscribe for more insights into the world of art and design. And remember, greatness awaits those who dare to create.